Hello, welcome to WizKids. WizKids is a quick recall academic competition for fourth and fifth grade students from area schools. My name is Dave Duda and I will be your moderator. Even though the teams are familiar with the rules, I would like to state that although WizKids is similar to Governor's Cup, it is a Hardin County Schools competition. Today's contestants are from Creekside and GC Burkhead Elementaries. Now let's meet the team members and coach from Creekside. Whitley Atcher is a fifth grader at Creekside Elementary. She is active at Valley Creek Baptist Church in volleyball, tennis, and swimming. Her favorite school subject is math because it just makes sense. Dresden Staples is a fifth grader at Creekside Elementary. His favorite subject is math because he feels it's his best subject. Outside of school, he enjoys playing his PS4 and reading the Warrior series. Sam Peterson is a fifth grader at Creekside Elementary. Sam is active in bas basketball, soccer, EFC, Gilead Baptist Church. His favorite book is series is Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and he enjoys playing his Xbox. Emerson Buckles is a fifth grader at Creekside Elementary. She enjoys playing piano, singing, softball, and hunting. She is active at Upton Baptist Church. History is her favorite subject, and she loves the book Bridge to Terabithia. Ms. Wyatt has been teaching since 2009, and this is her second year coaching the academic team. We will now meet the team and coaches from G.C. Burkhead. Leah Anderson is a fifth grader at G.C. Burkhead Elementary School. She is the daughter of Nathan and Julie Anderson. Her favorite subject is math. In her spare time, she enjoys volleyball and playing piano. When she gr grows up, she plans to become a vet. Quinn Yates is a fifth grader at G.C. Burkett Elementary School. She is the daughter of Chris and Chastity Yates. Her favorite subject is writing. In her spare time, she enjoys acting, singing, playing piano, and dancing. When she grows up, she plans to become an actress or a movie director. Emilia Jackson is a fifth grader at G.C. Burkett Elementary School. She is the daughter of Eric and Kelly Jackson. Her favorite subject is social studies. In her spare time, she enjoys hunting, playing golf, and dancing. When she pro grows up, she plans to become a medical scientist. Justin Johnson is a fifth grader at G.C. Burkett Elementary School. She is, daughter, she is the son of Un and Howard Johnson. His favorite subject is social studies. In his spare time, he enjoys playing video games, playing outside, and playing with his brother, Brandon. When he grows up, he plans to become a worker in the medical field. Kim Thompson is a fourth, fourth grade teacher at G.C. Burkett Elementary School. She has taught in Hardin County for 25 years and has coached the academic team for 13 years. Coach Elisa Nichols is a second grade teacher at G.C. Burkett Elementary School. She has taught with Hardin County Schools for 13 years and this will be her 13th year as an academic team coach. She, she attended Western Kentucky University. In her spare time, she enjoys spending time with her husband, Scott, and their five children. Coaches, you may return to your seats at this time. Teams, are you ready? Contestants, remember you may interrupt the reading of a toss-up question by buzzing in. <coughs> However, if your answer is incorrect, the question will be reread in its entirety for the opposing team. Teams may confer on bonus questions, but the team captain must give the response or designate. Remember, the bounce back bonus will be in effect. All questions are worth one point and each half is 10 minutes long. The first question is a toss-up for either team. What animal name is missing from these cliches? The blanks have come home to roost. Don't count. Creekside, Dresden. A rooster? Incorrect. I'll reread the question. What animal name is missing from these cliches? The blanks have come home to roost. Don't count your blanks before they are hatched. Burkhead, Justin. Chickens? Correct. Two bonus. Name the water-soluble, non-toxic, creamy paint applied with the digits of the hands. Finger paint? Correct. Three, toss-up. What U.S. president had an earlier career as commander of Union forces in the Civil War? A creek side, Sam. Abraham Lincoln? Incorrect. Burkhead, Justin. Ulysses S. Grant? Correct. Four bonus, 
what is the set of odd numbers greater than 151 but less than 163? I designate Justin. Six. Incorrect. Captain? 153, 155, 157, 159. Incorrect. 153, 155, 157, 159, 161. Five, toss up. The margins of, of stream or river channels are called? Greek side, Sam. Current. Incorrect. Time banks. Six, toss up. What art material can be made using this process? Tear newspaper into strips about an inch wide and a foot long. Let Burkhead, Amelia. Mosaic. Incorrect. I'll reread the question. What art material can be made using this process? Tear newspaper into strips about an inch wide and a foot long. Lay the strips in a large pan and cover. Creekside, Sam. Paper mache. Correct. Seven. Bonus. How many minutes are in half of four and one half hours? Time, Captain? 135. Correct. Eight, toss up. The world's largest ocean, the Pacific, has about 15 times more surface, more surface area than the smallest ocean, the? Burkhead, Justin. Arctic Ocean. Correct. Nine, bonus. If you walk nine miles north, five miles northwest, four miles south, and five miles southeast, how far are you from your starting point? No answer. Captain? No answer. Five miles. 10, toss up. Driven by winds, mountains of sand may bury everything in their path from rocks and fields to entire towns. Such piles of sand are called Creekside, Sam. Sandstone. Incorrect. Burkhead, Leah. Dunes. Correct. Eleven, bonus. These stories are related to what legendary monarch? The story of Sir Lancelot and his companions, the story of the champions of the round table, the story of the grail. No answer. Captain? No answer. King Arthur. 12, toss up. What word completes this rhyme about finance? Penny and penny laid up will be many. Who will not save a penny shall never have? Creekside, Sam. Money. Incorrect. Burkhead, and Amelia. Money. Incorrect, any. Very close. 13, toss up. What is the color of the waves of grain according to the song America the Beautiful? Creekside, Dresden. Blue? Incorrect. Time, Amber. 14, toss up. What European country is famed for transforming its extensive salt marshes into productive agricultural land by means of dikes? Creekside, Dresden. England? Incorrect. Burkhead, Justin. Netherlands. Correct. Fifteen bonus. To decide whether 11 twelfths or 29 thirty seconds is larger, you must determine that the least common denominator is. No answer. Captain? No answer. 
96. 16, toss up. The unit of currency in Mexico is the? Merced, Justin. Pesos. Correct. 17, bonus. What butterfly that summers all over the United States and Canada migrates to Mexico, Florida, and Southern California for the winter? Monarch. Correct. 18, toss up. In a Venn diagram, you see a small oval labeled cats inside a larger oval labeled felines. Express this diagram in words. Creekside, Sam. Compare and contrast. Incorrect. Burkhead, Amelia. Um, felines. Incorrect. All cats are felines. 19, toss up. What word completes these sentences? He read a blank issue. She is blank in uniform. Pay them blank. It was lost some years blank. Creekside, Dresden. Money. Incorrect. Burkhead, Justin. A go. Incorrect. Back. Toss up, 20. In what tale does a mysterious gnome-like man spin straw into gold for the benefit of a... a Burkhead, Quinn. Rumpelstiltskin. Correct. Bonus, 21. On a piano, how many black keys are between middle C and the next C key? Maybe. No answer. Captain? Seven. Incorrect, five. Toss up. How many verbs are in this line? Skinning and wrapping a white whale not only takes a great deal of time, but also requires a substantial amount of endurance. Okay, Johnson. Two. Correct. 23, bonus. Isaac's first three fish weighed three pounds apiece. His next three fish each weighed five pounds. He also caught one weighing two pounds and one weighing six pounds. What is the average weight of all his fish? No answer. Captain? No answer. Four pounds. 24 <clears throat> toss up. Each of the horizontal divisions or levels of a tall building is called a? Okay, Johnson. Story. Correct. 25, bonus. A plane took six hours, 24 minutes to fly from point X to point Y. It took five hours, 42 minutes to make the return flight. What was the total flying time for the round trip? Time, Captain? No answer. 12 hours, 6 minutes. 26, toss up. To conserve energy, flocks of geese, cranes, and pelicans fly in what formation? Burkhead Jackson? V. Correct. 27, bonus. Pueblo style architecture of the U.S. Southwest is traditionally built of blocks composed of unfired mud and straw, a material called Adobe? Correct. 28, Tassa. Pocahontas lived in the region now comprised. Okay, time is up. And at the end of the half, the score is Creekside 1 and GC Burkhead 14. Welcome back to the second half of Wiz Kids between Creekside and GC Burkhead Elementaries. During the half, the following substitutions were made. Joining the team from Creekside are Kinsley Anderson, Donovan Daniel, and Hannah Martin. Hannah Martin Canto is a fifth grader at Creekside Elementary. Outside of school, she plays upward soccer, takes online French classes, and takes singing and piano lessons. She has chickens and ducklings she goes out with every day. Her favorite book series is the Warrior series because she loves the stories. Who's the next one? Uh, 
Donovan Daniel is a fifth grader at Creekside Elementary. He is active in both both baseball and basketball. Donovan loves to work on the farm and his grand and in his grandmother's garden. His favorite subject is social studies because he enjoys the history about wars and what our country was before he came here. We came here. Kinsley Anderson is a fifth grader at Creekside Elementary. When she's not reading a se reading series like the Percy Jackson series, she does competit competitive gymnastics with Becca's Place and is active at Crossroads Baptist Church. She loves playing and being goofy. Joining the team from G.C. Burkett Elementary is Addison Blow. Addison Blow um, is a fifth grader at G.C. Burkett Elementary School. She is the daughter of Jimmy Lewis and Edith Blow. Her favorite subject is social studies. In her spare time, she enjoys drawing and playing Roblox. When she grows up, she plans to become a teacher at GCB and or an engineer. Teams, let's begin the second half of today's competition with a toss-up question. John Adams and Thomas Jefferson died on the same day, precisely. Creekside Peterson. July 4th. Incorrect. I will read the question. John Adams and Thomas Jefferson died on the same day, precisely 50 years after the adoption of the Declaration of Independence. What is the date of their deaths? Burkhead Johnson. July 4th, 1826. Correct. <laughs> Two, bonus. Name the coarse cloth on which artists paint pictures. Canvas. Correct. Three, toss up. What American folk hero died competing with a sledgehammer against a steam drill? Time, John Henry. Four, toss up. In these non anatomical lyrics, what bone is missing in the last line? The foot bone connected to the leg bone, the leg bone connected to the knee bone, the knee bone connected to the thigh bone, the thigh bone connected to the back bone, the back... Creekside Donovan. Hip bone. Incorrect. Incorrect. I'll reread the question. In these non-anatomical lyrics, what bone is missing in the last line? The foot bone connected to the leg bone, the leg bone connected to the knee bone, the knee bone connected to the thigh bone, the thigh bone connected to the back bone, the backbone connected to the neck bone. The neck bone connected to the... Burkhead Johnson. Head bone. Correct. Five bonus. A female monarch is called a... No answer. Captain. No answer. Queen. Six. Toss up. Located in the nucleus of the atom are closely packed particles, each of which carries a unit charge of positive... Raise your hand if you buzzed in. Uh, Creekside Peterson. Electrons. Incorrect. I'll reread the question. Located in the nucleus of the atom are closely packed particles, each of which carries a unit charge of positive electricity equal to the unit charge of negative electricity carried by the electron. Name them. Burkhead Johnson. Protons and neutrons. Incorrect. Incorrect. Protons. Seven. Toss up. What character in Alice in Wonderland repetitively asked Alice this question? Who are you? Creekside Peterson. Never mind. Hesitation. Time, the caterpillar. Eight, toss up. What is the indirect object in this sentence? She gave us free tickets to the game. Burkhead jo Jackson. C. Incorrect. Creekside Peterson. C. Incorrect. Us. Nine, toss up. These lines are from a song in a musical about what doctor? Chatting to a chimp in chimpanzee. Creekside Anderson. Dr. Doolittle. Correct. Ten, bonus. Knowing that the writer addressed his poem to a thesaurus, 
What phrase completes this verse? Though I could keep this up all day, this lyric, elegiac song, me seems it come, it's come the time to say farewell, adieu, goodbye. Good day. Incorrect, Captain? No answer. So long. 11, toss up. What planetary name is missing from this ditty? The big, this big planet is hard to see. Blank is named for the god of the sea. Burkett Johnson. Jupiter. Incorrect. Creekside Peterson. Poseidon. Incorrect. Neptune. 12, toss up. 1961 reads the same when it is upside down. The next date with this characteristic will not occur until the 61st century. What is that year? Burkhead Johnson. 6,191. Incorrect. Time, 6,009. 13, toss up. Many Native American groups pledged to stop attacking frontier settlers and to give up some of their land in return for, for the US government's promise to protect the Indians' rights and welfare. Name these often ignored agreements. Burkhead Johnson. Treaties. Correct. 14, bonus. During July in the Northern Hemisphere, the most common form of precipitation is? Rain. Correct. 15 bonus, uh, 15 toss up. Number statements that use the equal signs are equations. Number statements that use either the greater than or less than signs are called? Creekside Daniel. Addition. Incorrect. Who rang in? Uh, Burkhead Jackson. Comparison. Incorrect. Inequalities. 16, toss up. Mohandas Gandhi was instrumental in helping India free itself from what European? Uh, Creekside Peterson. The United Kingdom. Correct. 17, bonus. Fred borrowed $200 from Wilma. Two years later, he repaid her $220. The extra $20 was a payment for the use of her money during the two-year period called? Boom. Incorrect, Captain. Interest. Correct. 18, toss-up. Which pedal, from the standpoint of the pianist, is the soft pedal because it shifts the keyboard and the action to the right, causing the hammers to strike one less string each? Creekside Anderson. Third string. Incorrect. Time, left pedal. It's 19, toss up. What simple verb tense tells about something that has not happened yet? Burkhead Johnson. Future. Correct. 20, bonus. This excerpt is from what fairy tale? In the morning, she was asked how she had slept. Oh, very badly, said she. I have scarcely. The princess and the pea. Correct. 21, toss up. Molten rock that reaches the Earth's surface is called? Burkhead Johnson. Lava. Correct. 22, bonus. A person who commits treason is called a? Traitor. Correct. 23, toss up. According to the song from Disney's Snow White, what are you supposed to do while you work? Burkhead Yates. Whistle. Correct. 24 bonus, a tone in music is represented by a sign called a? C. 
symbol. Bonus here. No answer. Okay. Symbol. Okay. symbol. Incorrect. Note. 25, toss up. Among many other things, beads, shells, precious metals, and even dead rats have served as mediums of exchange and as standards of value in various cultures. All such mediums are called... Creekside Peterson. Currency. Correct. 26, bonus. A male sheep is called a... No answer. Captain? No answer. Ram. 27, toss up. After a meeting is called to order, one of the first orders of business is reading and approving a summary of the previous meeting called the? Burkhead Jackson. Minutes. Correct. 28, bonus. What is the common collective name for large, more or less spherical, multi-branch plants that break away from their roots in autumn and scatter their seeds as the wind? <laughs> The final score is Creekside Elementary 4 and GC Burkhead 26. Congratulations to the winning team and to both teams for an excellent competition. Join us for our next WizKids competition.